hello everyone this is arohi and welcome to my channel so guys in this video i'll talk about different types of ai so ai can be categorized into three main types the first one is artificial narrow intelligence second is artificial general intelligence and the third one is artificial super intelligence today i'll explain you each ai type with its example so let's begin with weak ai which is also known as narrow ai and the ai which we are using these days is called weak ai means we are using weak ai these days okay now weak ai refers to the ai program that is designed to solve only one problem okay so for example chatbots chatbots can only handle conversations okay in the same way let's take another example recommendation engines the companies like amazon spotify netflix they all use narrow ai algorithms narrow ai algorithm means algorithm which are designed to perform one task okay so this these companies like amazon spotify netflix they use narrow ai algorithms to recommend what products and services we might like right and then we have voice assistants like siri and alexa another example is face recognition systems so all the examples which i have shared with you is uh, achieved all these things this kind of task we can do by using the algorithms and those ai algorithms are designed to solve one problem only okay now the next is agi artificial general intelligence artificial general intelligence is also known as strong ai and the aim of this strong ai is to create intelligent machines which behaves identical to the human mind humans learn from experience and they take their learning from various experiences and then they apply that learning to other situation where it makes sense okay so this would be a good example uh, for strong ai okay so agi is a machine with general intelligence much like a human being to solve any problem means machine that mimics human intelligence with the ability to think understand learn and then apply its intelligence to solve any problem as human do in any given situation for example um, the, let's suppose a home robot would have to recognize if light bulb is blown then either um, a robot should uh, replace that bulb or he should call uh, a repair person right so these kind of scenarios here to carry out such task the robots needs to have common sense as hu human does right so th this kind of work um if if our computers our machines have such general intelligence that these kind of tasks our machines can perform then we can say that artificial general intelligence is achieved okay so when uh, or we can say that when machines will have cognitive ability like humans then we can say agi is achieved and by cognitive ability um uh, we can say that uh, general mental capability to mental capability like uh, you know reasoning problem solving and then planning thinking and then we can say learning from experiences so these kind of able uh, sorry these kind of capabilities Uh, if our machines have these kind of capabilities then we can say that our machines have this achieved this artificial general intelligence okay so just uh, look at this pie chart in in this pie chart you will see the perception the current ai the ai which we are using deep learning we can say that our deep learning models are working well on uh, you know on perception our deep learning models perform uh, object detection with a good accuracy we can say but that again on 2d data it is performing well but on 3d data still work is required uh, if you want to understand you know this um, 3d world uh, scene understanding right on those things still our algorithms are working but 
still some work is required in that area so we can say with our current ai we can only perform this perception but that is again we have to do some work in it for the improvements but the other things like this common sense planning analogy reasoning and language these things comes under cognitive ability which humans have and um if all these abilities if all these abilities um, our machines have then we can say that artificial general intelligence is achieved okay now i want to share one example with you two months back uh, deep mind which is an ai subsidiary of google they released a new generalist uh, model ai model which is called um, which is known as gato and this gato this model can perform multiple uh, different task with the same way as human can do okay this gato this ai model can perform more than 600 different tasks such as playing video games captioning images or moving real world robotic arms right so this gato can perform multiple tasks at the same time with the same model with the same weight file okay so if this gato can perform multiple tasks so is this gato an agi because what we what i have told you till now is narrow ai simply means uh, one algorithm will perform one task okay and this gato this gato is performing multiple tasks at same time with one algorithm with one model we are performing multiple tasks so that is it can we say that this gato is an agi so Uh, according to this nando de freitas he is a lead research scientist at deep mind he said the game is over when gato was released and he also suggested that achieving agi was now simply a matter of ai making ai models bigger and more efficient adding more data training data in and also uh elon musk also said a few um, days back that he would be surprised if we didn't have artificial general intelligence by 2029 but gary marcus who is a author of rebooting ai and the algebraic mind is also a founder and ceo of geometric intelligence which is acquired by uber he disagree with elon musk gary marcus said AGI is a vast field and it is not possible to achieve AGI by 2029 he also wrote a article addressing directly to elon musk let me show you that so this is the article you can see he have written dear elon musk here are the five things you might want to reconsider about AGI and let me show you those five things now so the first one is in 2020 uh, 2029 AI will not be able to watch a movie and tell you accurately what is going on. And the second thing is in 2029 AI will not be able to read a novel and reliably answer questions about the plot. Third thing is AI will not be able to work as a competent cook in an arbitrary kitchen. And next one is AI will not be able to reliably construct bug free code of more than 10000 lines from natural language specification etc so gary marcus was not uh, convinced with the idea right now that by 2029 we will be having artificial general intelligence and well guys we don't know if we can achieve agi by 2029 but let's suppose if agi is achieved for example so how will we know that uh, how will we find out that agi has been achieved right artificial general intelligence is achieved by our machine how will we know so uh, uh, people uh, there are various you know tests which have been proposed that would grant an ai the status of agi so although there is no you know um, universally accepted definition but there are um, some few there are few proposed tests so one of them is the turing test and alan turing suggested that an ai should 
have to pass the human in text conversation means if our machine if our robot pass if if robot and human being is conversating then that uh, robot that machine should pass the text conversation while having a conversation with a human right so this was the first test proposed to check if agi had been uh, you know achieved the second test is the coffee test and this coffee test was um, proposed by steve was nike he was a co-founder uh, co of apple he said he will consider agi to be real if robot can enter in a random house and figure out how to make a cup of coffee including identifying the coffee machine figure out figuring out the what buttons to and finding out where the coffee is right he said if robot could do that perhaps we should consider that that we have achieved general intelligence and other method suggestions are one of uh, one other method is robot college student test in this test simply means if robot can enroll in a human university and take classes the same way as human does and get the degree then consider that we have created artificial general intelligence so these are different ways proposed by different um uh, different people different researchers right but there is no universally accepted definition uh, we have till now so till now we can only say that agi has not been developed yet right this is just a theoretical concept but artificial intelligence uh, exists which we use but in future if agi is achieved machines would be capable of understanding the world the same way uh the same way as human being does okay so guys that's it this is what ai and agi is i hope this video is helpful thank you for watching